In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a CRN500 and CRN300 directly when you take it out of the box. Unlike traditional cinema, pro video, DSLR or mirrorless cameras, the SDI and HDMI terminals are not functioning when you take the camera out of the box. You will need to plug the cameras into a computer for an initial setup. When connecting an HDMI or SDI cable, make sure that the power cable is already connected before you insert the HDMI and SDI cables. You have a few power options when connecting the PTZ cameras. You can use a PoE Plus injector or a compatible PoE Plus switch, or the included 24 volt DC adapter. Step one when you're configuring the camera with a LAN cable. Plug the ethernet cable into the ethernet port of the camera. Plug the other end into the router. Once power is applied to the camera, it will take 50 to 60 seconds for the camera to power up, after which you can access the IP address directly. First, you'll want to go to usa.canon.com. Download the camera search tool. Scroll down to the drivers and download section, and then click software. The search tool is compatible with Windows 10 only. Launch the camera search tool and click search. Depending on either configuration, click on IPv4 or IPv6 to connect to the camera. Once the administrator name and password has been set, click apply and reboot. You can select your frame frequency. If you want 4K formats, select 29.97 or 23.98. If you want high frame rate, full HD formats, select 59.94. When configuring the camera, you can set a manual IP or DHCP, depending on your preference. If you're not familiar with these settings, contact your network administrator for guidance. After completing this page, you'll be brought back to the login page where you can sign in with the newly created admin account. If you're having some trouble connecting, the first thing you'll want to do is verify your IPv6 is configured. Go to Control Panel, then Network and Sharing Center, then Ethernet. Once you're in there, click Properties, then Internet Protocol version 6. Ensure that that box is enabled. If you're still having trouble after trying some of these things, you can reset the camera to its factory defaults. Unplug the power, then using a paperclip, hold down the reset button, then plug the power back into the camera. Continue to hold the reset button for 10 seconds until you see the green light start blinking. If you're having trouble connecting, double check a few things. First, confirm that the LAN plug is plugged into the LAN port and not the serial port, labeled RS-422. It's important to note that if you insert a live PoE cable into your serial port, it could permanently damage the serial interface of the camera, leaving it inoperable. Confirm that the computer is on the same network as the camera. By default, the camera will look for a DHCP address. For more information about setup, refer to page 21 in the manual. You can find the manual on usa.canon.com if you scroll down to the manual section. Once it's found, you'll be ready to use both the SDI, HDMI terminals, and the remote control applications.